Hey guys, welcome back. I feel like we're like super close. That's better. I'm just gonna sit like this. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> okay, but for real, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have my first ever one brand tutorial. Super stoked. Everything on my face except for the lashes. Everything with the lashes is from Wet n Wild. All of it. Okay. So everything on my face, the product was less than $8. And I used only Wet n Wild brushes as well. I feel like I did really good for my very first ever one brand tutorial. Let me know what you think down below. Holla at your girl. But anyway, if you want to hang out for a little bit and see how I got this look, then just stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so first thing we're gonna be using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. And I'm gonna be using that with a damp um, L'Oreal sponge. I like this foundation because it has this little spatula in it and the coverage is really, really good. <laughs> and I'm pretty. Okay, so we're just gonna go in with this. I think Wet n Wild has a um, foundation brush, but I'm not crazy about it. So we are gonna go in with this. This foundation kind of smells like paint, like I get a, a paint smell. But it's only while you're applying it. It goes away. Like it dries down and I don't smell it anymore. So that's good. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. But if you're super sensitive to um, scents and even if you just have super sensitive skin, it may not work that well for you. Okay, so some of the products that I'm using are already um, things that I own. And then some of these are new to me. So... I am going to go in with the Photo Focus Concealer for the first time. Let's see. I have mine in the shade Light Ivory. <laughs> Couldn't find it. So this is the same line as the foundation, so I'm hoping that they work well together. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I feel like I have to go in several times to get much concealer on my wand. Let's see my ground. And for those of you who don't know, Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free brand, which I think is absolutely amazing. So anything you buy from them is cruelty-free. I'm going to do a little bit extra over here where all these blemishes are. I'm already dropping stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna try the um, Wet n Wild like foundation brush with this concealer and see how it does. I feel like it's just removing my foundation. So let's see. Yeah, can you see that? Like right there, it's just like, it just took all my foundation off. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so I don't like that brush for that at all. That's okay. So I'm gonna put a little extra concealer back on my nose since it took some of it off. <laughs> And let's try this again. Okay, that's better. So for powder, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This stuff's really good. Two. I don't really have a good brush. We'll go ahead and use this. I usually use this for blush. We'll see if it'll work. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to only use Wet n Wild brushes too, but I don't know if we're gonna make that work or not. 
You're like, I hate this. This is not working. <laughs> Sorry. But it's like, it's too fluffy for that. So this is just an e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. So this is an, another affordable option. But I prefer this. I always use this combo for underneath my eyes anyway. I'm an idiot. I was going to do my eyes first. Crap. Got carried away. So excited <laughs> to film. I just started throwing stuff on. Oh, well, we'll make it work. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I love this powder. I use this almost every single day. This is not new to me, obviously. I've had this for a while and I absolutely love that stuff. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is do my brows, do our eyes, and then we'll finish the face. And this is new. So this could be Total flop. My brows could look even worse than they normally do. This is the Wet n Wild, of course, um, retractable brow pencil, and I've got mine in the shade medium brown. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So we have a spoolie on one end, and then okay, so it's kind of like the Anastasia, is it the definer brow. So it's kind of got that shape to it so it's definitely thicker it's not a small um like the brow wiz or the la girl um shady slim brow i love that or the nyx micro brow this is much thicker so we'll see you <laughs> could be looking like a complete weirdo by the end of this It's not bad. I don't hate it. Just like the adjusting to like this bigger um, point is kind of tricky for me, but we'll make it work, I guess. Huh? One thing I don't have from Wet n Wild, I don't even know if they, I don't think they make one. I don't have like a brow gel. I don't know if they make one or not. I haven't seen one, but that doesn't mean anything. So it's definitely giving me a little bit bolder of a brow, which is fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. We're gonna have to clean them up a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I cannot with these brows, but you know what? We're just going <laughs> to move right along because I'm not going to mess with them anymore. I um, I just don't love this. I don't know if it's just the shade, but like, and I guess if you're going for like a big, like thick, bold brow, it might be okay. I'm just not used to it. And I just, mm, I don't know. I'm not loving it. Maybe it's just the shade, I don't know. But I carved them out with the concealer and then just a concealer brush from Wet n Wild. But we're uh, we're not gonna talk about the brows, okay? We're just gonna act like they <laughs> like they look good, but I know they don't. So anyway, we're gonna move right along, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer again to prep my eyes for some eyeshadow. And I think this is what I'm most excited about is the eyeshadow, which is what I wanted to do first. That way I didn't have to worry about fallout on my face, but I got a little carried away. <laughs> That's all right. So we'll see. So far the concealer, it's not bad. It's super affordable. Everything from Wet n Wild is affordable, so I'm not mad. I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. Okay, so since I've already got my face on, I'm going to go ahead and um, bake under my eyes. That way, if I do have fallout, oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. If I do have fallout, then we can just dust this away. And I'm just going to use the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. 
<laughs> Y'all, I look like a drug addict. <laughs> There's powder everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. Can you see? <laughs> I guess it matches my cardigan. <laughs> oh well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm most excited for, I think. It is the new, um, it's a well, new formula, new look. It is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I'm so excited. I never owned the original and I'm super bummed. But I will say this one, they've added these two shades here on the end. The original didn't have like any kind of um, transition shade. So we now have, because all of these are shimmers, which is great aside from the fact that it's really hard to do a look with just shimmer. So to set that um, concealer, God, I can't talk. To set that concealer that we put down as a primer, I'm just going to go back in with this powder. Not that I don't have enough on my face already, but <laughs> we're just going to set that down with a Wet n Wild shadow brush. And then, oh my, I literally, it's like snowing off of my face. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're going to do our best to just use this for a look and nothing else. Oh, that's super powdery. See that? No, you cannot see that. <laughs> Anyway, super powdery, a lot of pigment, which I'm not mad about. Okay, so we are going to take that shade and just lightly start putting this in the crease. And I'm just slightly, slightly, slowly going to start building this up because I don't, I've never worked with these shadows before. I don't know what I'm dealing with. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. So far, so good. I'm liking the pigmentation. The blendability is pretty good. Which these Wet n Wild brushes are actually really good, especially for the price. They're like, they range from like $1.99 to like $5 or $6.99 depending on what brush you're buying. Next one, and we're gonna go in with this cranberry shade, berry shade. Right now I'm just kind of focusing it on the outer corner. Let's see if I can come a little closer to you guys. You can see what I'm doing. And we're doing a little bit at a time because these, anytime we're dealing with like a red or a berry, you really want to take your time building it up, especially they're just, they're not hard to work with if you take your time, I promise. See that cut on my knuckle? My husband and I are in the process of ripping up carpet and some tile in our house and we're going to put new flooring down this weekend and I'm so excited. But, um... We got like this scraper to get like the carpet glue off of the ground and I was changing the blade out and my um, screwdriver slipped and I like sliced my finger on the blade and I was like, cool, <laughs> it's going great, it's fine, it's, it's fine. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to slowly start to drag that excess in to the inner corner. Like whatever we have left, we're just gonna drag that in. I'm gonna go in with the concealer again, and we are gonna put it right here towards the front of this eyelid. And we're gonna go back in with the concealer brush from Wet n Wild. We're going to see how this works as far as kind of cutting this out. It's not the greatest in the world, but 
This concealer gets pretty tacky, I will say that. Which I guess from like an eyeshadow standpoint, that's a good thing. You know, I don't mind it as far as like priming for an eyeshadow. But it's not the easiest to work with. It's not super creamy. And like when you start kind of blending it out, I feel like you're losing some of that coverage. Can you see like right here? You can kind of see my lid and those darker shades underneath. It's not a big deal. We're going to cover it up anyway. But just overall, the concealer as a whole, if you will. We're going to go in. I'm so excited. I swatched these the other day because I couldn't wait. We're going to go in with this one right here. It's like a blue. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's like a blue-brown like shift. Yeah, can you, yeah, you can see it there. Like how it kind of shifts from like blue to brown. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to go in. Get this on our brush. And we're going to take that right over that concealer we just put down. These are like super creamy eyeshadows. They're easy to work with. I mean, at least I don't, I think so. I'm not having any issues with them yet. I'm going to do now, we're going to go back in with this transition shade. We're gonna just come in and blend and blend some more. But one thing I will say that sucks is shadow, the shadow, this eyeshadow palette doesn't have a black. So I will have to dip into that from somewhere else. Okay, we're gonna make this work. I'm gonna go into the Naked Basics 2 by Urban Decay. And we are going to go in with another just wet and wild eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to deepen this outer corner up a little bit and kind of help blend those shadows together. I'm going to put the, um, the pigment, like the shadow, kind of on the tip of the brush. That way I can drag it like right in there and deepen that up a little bit and just kind of blend them together. Okay, so, so far I'm loving this and I want to say this palette's like $4.99, $4.99, $6.99 and it's performing really well so far, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to dust all this, <laughs> all this craziness off from underneath my eyes which I'm glad I had that because there was definitely a little bit of fallout from that darker shade which I figured there would be. I'm gonna do actually I don't have like a um, pencil liner from them so I'm just gonna use this one it's just the L'Oreal smoldering eyeliner which I will say Wet n Wild does have these eyeliners I just don't Add some black to the to the waterline and tightline the upper. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Skinny Tip Eyeliner Mega Slim. Why do they make these things so freaking hard to get into? I swear. Just eyeliner. And we're gonna go in, <laughs> and we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And we're gonna line right along the lower lash line. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in with that first brush we used in this first transition shade. And I'm gonna just buff this down here, kind of blend things together a little bit better. Realize I'm so stupid. I don't have like a powder bronzer. So we're gonna make this work. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick, and I've got mine in the shade Call Me Maple. Pagan? Maybe I'm hearing things. That or I'm about to be murdered. No big deal. <laughs> okay, this is definitely blending out better with a sponge than a brush. So now that we've got that on and blended, I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in and... I've had this blush forever. Like it doesn't even have the name on it. It's broken, it's broken. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what the color of this is because I don't know what it is, but I love this blush. It's so pretty and they're like, I think these are like $3 and they are some of the best blushes I have are these wet and wild ones, I think. I think they're definitely comparable to high-end blushes. And for $3, I mean, can you can you complain? I don't think so. So pretty. Like I said, I'll do my best to find out what shade this is. Because So now, got it. <laughs> okay, so I've got the new Hello Halo liquid highlighters, and then I've got two of their powders. One is in Crown of My Canopy and Precious Petals. And they are so pretty. I love Precious Petals. It's probably their most popular one, I would say. But I really want to... I thought I broke... I really want to try these. I just don't know the best way to go about it. I think I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And then get some on my sponge. This could be a total disaster. I just kind of like... Stays in whatever like form you have it. Does that make any sense? Like, I feel like it's imprintable. I'm like doing an awful job at explaining this. I can't explain it. <laughs> it's stupid. The color is really pretty. Like, really pretty. I just don't know about, like, application. Yeah, that's, like, blinding. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad. Like, it's definitely pretty. As far as, like, every day goes for me, though, like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> but I like it. I think the shade's really pretty. Cute. Okay, I'm excited. I don't love like applying it, but I'm just gonna play around with it some more and figure it out. But I think it's really pretty. 
And just to be extra, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and set that with this. But I don't, I really don't have a good brush. We're going to make this one work. I think this is like their contouring brush. About to be a highlighting brush. <laughs> I don't know if it's the concealer can you yeah you can see that it's like pulling all of the foundation and concealer off of my nose and you can see like hell of pores damn it's gotta be the concealer or something because I use that foundation at least once a week and I don't normally have that problem. So it's it has to be the concealer. That's the only thing that's different. I use the powder and the foundation all the time and I've never had that big of a problem with it. So I'm not loving the concealer. There are way more concealers on the market that are affordable, just as affordable, and are hands down better than that. So I the concealer sorry but hey if for all of this like everything I've tried so far if there's, there's bound to be something I don't care for so okay now I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara which I have bought this like how many is in here five there's like five mascaras they're mini for $4.99 so it's like five bucks I get five different ones to try We'll see. Which I don't think Wet n Wild is like Wet and Wild is like known for their mascaras. But I'm gonna put false lashes on anyway. Because I have a new hair and I'm so they're not Wet n Wild. Sorry. Like Wet n Wild has trash for lashes. Sorry, Wet n Wild. I absolutely love you. But I'm not impressed with what your lashes look like online. We're just going to curl these bad boys up and see how this mascara is and then I'll pop on some lashes. This is going to make the longest video ever. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara and I know they have this like full size. But let's see. It's like a spiky plastic one which is not my favorite. There I go again, being a mascara snob. <gasps> Do you see this? Let it dry, people. Let it dry. Damn it! Every freaking time. I'm pissed that my nose looks like that. Not that I have anywhere to go, I'm literally just filming this tutorial but I'm pissed cuz I that looks like crap it's got to be the concealer has to be okay I'm gonna go ahead and do lower lashes too this mascara is not bad it's kind of hard to see cuz my eyeshadow is so dark but it's doing a pretty good job. Like, they're not clumping up. They, um, it definitely adds good volume, and that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, max volume. So, I mean, it's doing what it's claiming that it's supposed to do, so. And this little, this little bitty thing's so hard to hold. That's what she said. <laughs> so, I actually like the mascara. I would buy it, which I do need new mascara, so I may, I may end up buying that full size. I actually like that, and I didn't even do that many coats because I'm going to go on false lashes, so, oh, look, can you see that? Boom. Okay, I'm going to get this freaking mascara off my face, get some lashes on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I went ahead and 
put on some lashes and I'm so excited for these. They're like, they're not very like thick. Like there's not a lot of lashes to them, but they are so long. <laughs> I get like super Corella de, no, 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 no. Um, what's her name? Off of Emperor's New Groove. What is her name? The old lady with like the purple dress. And she's like, Croc, the lover. <laughs> what is her name? Oh my God. It's going to come to me at like two o'clock in the morning. Anyway, they like give me super, whatever her name is, vibes. Um, These are bold makeup lashes in the shade Lashes for Days. Is this not so cute? Like the packaging? Like I'm obsessed. But anyway, um, they were like eight bucks. It's like eight dollars, and I had free shipping, so it's like eight dollars for for these. I think they're super pretty. They're definitely bold. Okay, they're big. They're fluttery. I love them. I'm obsessed. So I put those on, and I also went ahead and just did my lips, which I use. This is new to me. This is um, the gel lip liner in the shade Lay Down the Moths, and swatch it for you. That's it right there. And then I topped it with the liquid catsuit in the shade Nudie Patootie. And this is like concealer nude. Like, I've been dead for two weeks nude. <laughs> like, okay, it does not look like that. It does not look like that on camera, I swear to God. Maybe it's because the lip liner's on it. Yes. That's what it was. Okay, I was like, it looks way, way different on camera. Okay, so that's it, like, with no lip liner, and then that's it with a little bit of lip liner mixed into it. It does not look like that in li in real life. This looks, like, super, mo like, mauve -y. And I swear to God, when I've worn it, like, by itself, I'm like, mm -mm, nope, can't do it. It's like, I literally have no lips. I may have to try it again by itself, because that's actually... That's actually pretty. But anyway, I mixed these two right here to get this lip color. And I think it's pretty. I don't have a lot of lip colors from them. I've got two lip liners and then two of their cat suits, which I have Rebel Rose and that Nudie Patootie. God, why is their packaging so freaking hard to get into? And then, <laughs> and then this lip liner also. Oh. Lord, that is freaking pink. I will never wear this. Never pedal down. That is like straight up. Mm -mm, no, not gonna happen. I mean, it's pretty, but it is not my shade. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Anyway. Moving right along, all I have left to do is set my face and put on a brow bone highlight. So that's what we gonna do. And I'm gonna go in with this little quad right here. And we're gonna use this very top one called brow bone. <laughs> and we're gonna put it on the brow bone. I can get over these bold lashes with it. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, we're gonna put some on the inner corner as well. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow. Like, it's probably one of my favorite looks I've ever done. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so pretty. Oh, and the other thing I have is, this is new to me too, the, um, what is this? Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> it's like this itty bitty bottle. So it's a pretty aggressive mister, not gonna lie. <laughs> like
like my face is legit wet. That's okay. It'll dry down that. Or it better. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I think that's it. Over. All in all, I'm pretty impressed. A lot of the stuff I've used and a lot of it's new. I would say like half of it's new and half of it I've already had. But y'all, do not sleep on Wet n Wild, okay? It is so affordable. I do not have a single thing from them here that was over $8. Not one thing. Foundation, $4.99. This eyeshadow palette is either $4.99 or $6.99. Either way, it's cheap, okay? These freaking highlighters are right up there with high-end highlighters. There's no denying that. The only thing I'm freaking pissed about this concealer. It did good as far as like like um as an eyeshadow base, which I guess I could just use it for that. I'm not mad about it, but I'm pissed about my nose, y'all. Not happy. Good thing I don't have anywhere to go. <sighs> anyway, all in all, oh, and this back it up. I don't like the brow product. The brow product. I don't, mm, it's just not for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna play with it. But like, I just, I'm not loving it. First impression, not loving it. But we're gonna keep going. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here with me today and hanging out. I hope that you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And if you will subscribe to my channel before you leave, I would love it so much to have you along with this journey with me. And I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.